Hi, I'm Roger Barrett with Eggland Co-op uh, near Delmont, South Dakota. And there's been a lot of uh, talk about taking corn early for silage. And this isn't a very well developed stock of corn. It's less than three feet tall if you take the tassel out. Uh, so people are talking about taking it for silage. Uh, they ask, well, what's it going to yield? Well, uh, with this drought stress corn, you don't want to cut the bottom foot of stock because that's the highest in nitrates. Um, so we've probably got about another, not counting the tassel, another foot and a half or so. So that's probably about a ton and a half of forage per acre as silage. <clears throat> so that's two thirds moisture. The next problem is getting it in the right moisture in the silage pile so that it preserves well and it's good silage. Um, here I took, and, I, and again I cut the bottom foot off, and then I started dicing um, some of the uh, stock and probably disregard the leaves, especially the brown leaves on the bottom, and anything that falls off, because that's probably going to burn in our next step anyway. <clears throat> um, so, we're going to take that and put it in the microwave, and um, I have 100 grams of material here and what you do is put it in two to three minutes the first time at about 80 percent power or 30 three quarters power and then uh, you record how much how many grams you got left so the idea is as you microwave it the weight goes down that's all water so if it comes down and, and you start charring this material burning um, then you went too far. So that's why you want to write your weights down. The first time we'll do two or three minutes and see what happens and then 30 seconds per time after that and keep recording the weights. So once the weights come up the same twice or you start charring it, you're down to the right moisture. So you kind of want to be between 60 and 70 percent moisture. 65 is ideal in silage. Um, of course, uh, this is our competitor's hybrid here, not ours of course. Then once you get that done, you'll know whether it's time to do it. Then after you have ensiled it, um, after about six weeks or so, as silage, it will lose some of its nitrate. That's, that'll be the next thing people worry about. So then you want to get it tested for nitrates. And you can see here there's information on, on the internet on nitrates and forages. And silage is the safest way. If you cut it as hay, none of those nitrates leave. So. Uh, Siling is the safest way. Grazing, uh, green chopping, and feeding it right away, all of those are pretty risky. So you want to know what the nitrate content of that is. So most of your um, labs, your feed testing labs, can do that for you. Thank you. That's all today on the moisture testing, the microwave moisture test.